Hey guys, welcome back to Nextgen Blog. And in this video, I want to show you how to make objects float in Premiere Pro. Now to start off, I've already opened up Premiere Pro and I've also imported couple of images in the timeline. So this is my background image and this is the image of the logo of Premiere Pro. Now what I want to do is I want to make this logo float. So to do that, first select the logo image. Next, make sure that the cursor is present right at the start of the image. Next, go to effect controls. Next, click on this toggle animation icon which is present on the left hand side of the position option. Next, move the cursor on the right hand side by one second. Next, change the value inside the Y position from 540 to 580. Next, move the cursor on the right hand side by one second once again. Now, change the value inside the Y position from 580 to 500. Next, move the cursor on the right hand side by one second once again. Now, change the value inside the Y position from 500 to 580. Next, move the cursor on the right hand side by one second once again. Now change the value inside the Y position from 580 to 500. Finally, move the cursor on the right hand side by one second once again. And now change the value inside the Y position from 500 to 580. Next, what you need to do is you need to select all the keyframes which are present right here. If you have missed some keyframes, simply press the control key and select those keyframes manually. Next, right click on top of the keyframe and now go to temporal interpolation and now select this option that is ease in. Next, once again, right click on top of the keyframe and now go to temporal interpolation and now select this option that is ease out. And that's it. And so now, if I play the video for you. So, this is how you can make objects float in Premiere Pro. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.